Hey guys, it's Way here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my December Player of the Month predictions and investment guide, showing you all the players that you need to pick up to make guaranteed profit when the Player of the Month SPC is released, which should be early on next January. A few weeks ago with Player of the Month Salar, I made over 200,000 coins from my investments, and you can check out a video on that in the top right hand corner if you want some extra proof, and that shows just how effectively Player of the Month trading and investing can work. I really recommend you try it out. No matter how many coins you have, you should be able to invest in some cards for Player of the Month. Obviously, the more coins you have, the better, but I would really recommend putting some of the coins you have into some investments for player of the month. But before getting on into the predictions and investments, if you guys do want to be entered into my Christmas giveaway, in which I'll be giving away five £10 Xbox or PlayStation gift cards, check out that top link in the description, and that shows all the ways to enter. It takes a couple of seconds, and then I'll be announcing the winners on Christmas Day. So getting on into the predictions, there are, as always, six nominees, and we start off with Hong Min Son. He scored three goals and got one assist throughout the month, and Spurs won two of their games, drawing one and losing one as well. They're currently seventh in the table, one thing to bear in mind with all of these players is it could all change in the final game week of the month. Let's say Son scores a hat-trick on the weekend, he's most likely going to become the favourite for Player of the Month in December, so make sure you're keeping an eye on who scores this weekend. If any of the players I'm showing you here have a good game, score a goal or two, get a couple of assists, it could all change and they could instantly get pushed up to be the favourite for the Player of the Month award, and that's going to mean player prices will rise up for their investments. That is why I recommend you get any investments as early as possible. But Son, he was also playing centrally, that will be a great card for a seat on Ultimate Team. Next up is Manchester City's Nicolas Otamendi, who scored two goals in December, including the winner against Manchester United in the derby, for which he received an inform on Ultimate Team, as well as an equaliser against West Ham in a 2-1 win. One thing against him, though, is the fact that City have only kept one clean sheet in four games so far this month, and that was against Swansea in a 4-0 win. However, they are playing Bournemouth on the weekend and could keep a clean sheet there. I doubt he will win, though, even though two goals for a defender is very good. This is voted for by the public, and it always seems to go to attackers, especially strikers and wingers. The people getting goals, the people getting assists, they're normally the ones winning, and defenders rarely win Player of the Month. I actually don't think a defender has ever won the award, so I doubt he will win, but two goals for a centre-back is very good, so he has been included. And finally, for this first set of nominees, we've got Roberto Firmino, who scored three goals and got one assist throughout the month, just like Hung Minson. However, Liverpool's form was slightly better than Spurs, as they didn't lose any games. They won two and drew two. They're currently fourth in the table as well. For that reason, I do think for Firmino would slightly edge it over Son, as despite having the same records, Liverpool are currently are on better form, they didn't lose any games, they're currently higher in the table, so I think Firmino stands a higher chance of winning than Son, but I don't think he will win. I'm moving on to the second set of nominees. These three players are the three that I think are most likely to win December Player of the Month, although right now it's really hard to choose between them, and I think it's going to come down to the final game week, see who comes out on top in terms of goals and assists, to see who is most likely to actually win the award. Let me know in the comments down below who you think will win right now. I really can't pick. We're going to start off with Wayne Rooney. He scored three goals and got two assists. That gives him the joint most goal contributions throughout the month, joint with Felipe Coutinho, one of the other nominees right here. And he's had a pretty decent month with Everton as well. Their form really has got a lot better under Sam Allardyce. They're currently ninth in the table and they won three games, drawing one as well. One thing to bear in mind though is that all of his goals came in one game as he scored a hat-trick and then both assists also came in the same game. So he got all of his goals and all of his assists in two games, whereas some of these other players have performed consistently throughout all of the month. So Felipe Coutinho also got three goals and two assists in December, just like Rooney. However, he got those in just three games in comparison to the four of all these other nominees apart from David Silva. And that gives him an edge as he scored the goals and got the assists in less game time. And Liverpool have also had a decent month. They're currently unbeaten, two wins and two draws, and they're fourth in the table. I think he's got a slight edge over Rooney because he's got less game time. But overall, it's still very, very hard to choose between them. And we finish with the player who I think just edges it above everyone else and that is David Silva. He's again just like Coutinho only played three games in the month but he is the top scorer in December with four goals and he's been playing centre mid as well which is crazy. He's the top scorer as a midfielder and he's played less games than pretty much everyone else in the month and they were big goals as well and he has consistently performed throughout the month. He scored against Man United and he also scored two against Swansea and he scored the winner against West Ham as well so he has been very important and he performed consistently getting goals in all of those games. He did actually receive an inform from the Swansea game. He's the only player to have received three informs so far on FIFA 18 too. And I think right now, just because he's the top scorer and the fact he's a midfielder, he scored a winner and also scored a very important goal in a derby, I think that just gives him the advantage. I mean, that right now, he is most likely to win the award. However, it is going to come down to that final game week and it's not 100% confirmed that David Silva will play in it. The reason he missed one game here, it's not because of injury, it's not because he was dropped, it's actually because of apparent fan 
family issues. He actually went back to Spain a couple of days ago. No one really knows why yet, if it's because of maybe an illness in his family, something like that. No one knows right now. It hasn't been confirmed and also hasn't been confirmed when he'll be back. So he may not play that final game and obviously it's going to depend. Maybe Coutinho will score a few more goals. Maybe Rooney will. Maybe someone completely random who's not here will score four goals. Maybe someone like Kane will. You never know. But right now, these are the players that I think are most likely to win. And I think edging is David Silva, but it could be Coutinho, could be Rooney, could be anyone else amongst these nominees. So heading over towards the team, we're going to start off with some general player of the month investments. And these are going to cover you no matter who wins the award. So if you're not too sure where to focus your investments, you can go ahead and pick up some of these cards here and make some guaranteed profit. So first up is a high rate to Premier League team. Now we almost always see something to do with Premier League players for player of the month. Sometimes it's a full Premier League team that's quite high rated, maybe 85 or 86 overall. Sometimes it's slightly lower rated but requires some informs. Sometimes you may only need five or six Premier League players, but on the whole, you do need cards from the Premier League. So get high rated 83, 84, 85 and 86 rated Premier League cards for cheap. Just get some of the cheaper ones for each of those ratings and you should be good. And just saw them in your club, wait till player of the month is released and you can make some good profit. Also get a wide variety of special cards I would recommend covering pretty much every variety as we've seen a lot of different types needed for SBCs for example with Salah you needed ones to watches and hero cards for one of the SBCs and they tripled in value you could have made huge amounts of profit on some of those I would recommend getting some cheap ultimate screen cards also some cheap team of the group stage and path to glory cards too and then informs get a couple of disco price informs 12 11 or 10k cards also get some 83 84 and 85 rated informs if you can for around 20 to 30k and if you can afford it and if you want to do so get some higher rated 86 87 or even 88 rated informs for around that 50 to 60k mark and also with your premier league cards get some high rated ones kind of 88 even 89s if you want as if we do get a high rated card like silver you are going to need some really high rated cards and then for some more focus investments i'm going to cover the three favorites right now wayne rooney david silver and also felipe coutinho if you want to cover any others like son or otamendi feel free it's very simple to do so I'll show you exactly the types of investments I would recommend but right now I'll be covering the three favorites so I would recommend getting high rated players from the players club so in David Silva's case Manchester City people like Silva company and also Bernardo Silva and also cover their nation so obviously Spain in this case if you're covering someone like Otamendi it's obviously Argentina it's pretty simple just go through get some high rated cards from their nationality so the likes of Iniesta, PK, Martinez and Adjuris are all good ones and also cover their previous clubs so David Silva played for Ibar, Celta V go and mainly Valencia when he was starting off he went on loan to these two clubs as well before obviously moving to Manchester City you can also if you want cover the different teams the players played against throughout the month so for example David Silva and Otamendi playing for City faced Swansea West Ham Spurs and Man United so if you want to do that feel free occasionally last year we saw those added in for player of the month however this year don't think we have seen them as of yet but make sure you cover the previous clubs their nation and also their club so these are some good ones for silver it's not the be all and end all there are lots of other ones there are lots of other high rated spanish cars lots of other city players but these are just a few examples and then for coutinho i've gone with high rated liverpool cars the likes of coutinho himself roberto Firmino, and joel matip and then i've gone with brazilians like marcelo miranda felipe luis and danny alves you can also go with informs that cover all these routes too so you can go with people like jonas as a brazilian inform you can go with premier league informs too they're always good investments to get the likes of austin and steve cook are some really good ones that i would definitely recommend you pick up and you can also cover the clubs with Inform too so you can get someone like Inform Otamendi he's a great investment and one of the best of all the ones you can pick up I would definitely recommend getting second Inform Otamendi for under 50k as he's a high rate Premier League Inform he's a Manchester City Inform and also Argentinian which is the same nation obviously as Otamendi if he does win the award you may need some Argentine Inform so that is one of the best in my opinion to get is an Inform Otamendi and then also cover the previous club so in this case so for Coutinho in to Milan and also Espanyol get some high rated cards from both of those teams and then finally for Rooney I've gone with high rated Everton cards Schneidlin, Sigurdsson and Klassen just to name a few then English cards I've gone with Kane, Cahill, Lallana and Sturridge those are just examples there are plenty of others but there's some good ones to go on and he also used to play for United so I've gone with some high rated United cards they're quite cheap like Herrera, Mata and Mkhitaryan and he also used to play for Everton although he now currently plays for Everton too he uh, started off there went to United then obviously went back to Everton so I would recommend stocking up on Everton cards if you want to cover this. A good thing with this is you can go with people like Schneidlin. He's a high-rated Everton card and he's also a high-rated Premier League card. Or someone like Coleman. He's a high-rated Everton card and also one of the higher-rated right-backs in the Premier League.
Premier League. So you kill two birds with one stone there, you cover different routes, and that can make you some really good profit as those cards will rise up no matter who wins. So they're always some good ones to get. Also, if you get people like Cahill, for example, he's a high rated English card, so he covers uh, potentially Rooney winning and you need, need maybe an English team. He also covers the Premier League route. Same with most of these cards here, for example, like Matter. You can get a lot of different cards that cover lots of different options. So the ones I would really recommend investing in, the no risk ones, are high rated Premier League cards that, if possible, cover different routes. So someone like Matter, he plays for United, so he covers maybe previous clubs of Rooney. He also is Spanish, so he covers David Silva in a full Spanish team, and he also plays in the Premier League, so he covers a high rated Premier League team. Those sorts of investments are always the best, so keep an eye on those, try and get some of those cheaply, and also get some Premier League informs. I think Austin is one of the best, as well as second inform Otamendi. They're both great investments to get, and apart from that, just go through, get some of the cards I've shown you here, just cover the different options, cover the previous clubs, cover the clubs they played against this month, and cover their nation and their club, as well as the Premier League as a whole, and you should be good, and you should be able to make a load of coins. I showed you guys that video earlier, and if you want to check it out, there'll be a link down below as well, and that shows proof of just how effectively this can work. As I said, I made it over 200k just from a couple of players a month investments last week, and it is absolutely crazy. So if you guys enjoy, leave a like if you did. If you want to see one of these next month, just let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like to show your support. If you do want to be entered into the Christmas giveaway too as well, just check that top link in the description and you can enter right there. Only takes a couple of seconds. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.